All right, time to uh, move along. Uh, Megan, you talked to Scott Jung. This was uh, not so long ago, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. About a week ago, and yeah. uh, she has some really cool med gadgets for you right now. So the first one I wanted to show off is called the Lumo Lift. And this is a sensor that has an accelerometer, uh, gyroscopes, and things to basically make sure that you have proper posture. As you know, posture is really uh, an important thing for your overall health. Um, you know, it, uh, it can lead to back pain if you slouch all the time. Um, and of course, having good posture helps you even look better because you're sitting up straight and you right. look confident. So this will warn you if you are basically slouching too much. Um, so, kind so of the this best is a device, way. I put it on here, it attaches with a magnet, so there's mm -hmm. a magnet on the inside. Yeah, it attached with a magnet, very small, very discreet, so it can go pretty much anywhere. And uh, I think the best way to show it off is to show... Um, Should I yeah, slouch? Here. Yeah, so we're going to have you slouch, and then we're going to see it's on so the sad phone... And slouchy. There's going to be a timer that counts down. Oh! Oh yeah, wait, did it... There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm slouching now. So we're slouching now. Slouching. This is my regular posture. Ooh, and then I got ooh, little. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting. It didn't hurt. It wasn't a shock. Just a vibration. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. just a little tickle. It actually felt a little good. Mm -hmm. Just enough to keep you motivated <laughs> to sit up straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like it feels like the Apple Watch uh, feedback that you get. So not, you know, it's not gonna kill you. We're not talking yeah. about Clockwork Orange or anything. No, here. no not at all. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay. Not yet. Okay, good. <laughs> or you <two>, maybe. <laughs> all right. So uh, the Lumo Lift. Is there a cost on that? Yeah, it's $79. You could buy it from the Lumo website. Cool, and it has an app for iOS and Android? Or? Uh, yes, iOS. And um, just iOS? Not sure about no. Android, actually. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on. What else do you have? So the next one is called the Propeller Health Sensor. And you can see here, this is just a standard inhaler, and it's an inhaler accessory that fits at the top of the inhaler. And uh, what it's used for is, say, if you need to use your inhaler, you just give it a press, and it actually geo-locates uh, where you took your inhaler. It takes information from the internet about the weather conditions, uh, if there's a lot of pollen in the air, and um, you can also put in what symptoms you had uh, when you needed to use your inhaler, basically to help you figure out like what's triggering, triggering asthma and the need to use your inhaler. That's great. I had three kids that, I mean, I still have my kids, but they don't have asthma anymore. But when they did, it was so annoying to know what was causing it. And that's really, like, that's really strong medicine that mm -hmm. the doctor recommends for you. And you don't want to overtake it. So it would be great to actually have data that was useful to know when you took it, how often you took it, where, what was triggering it. Uh, I love that. Exactly. Yeah, it'll help you know you should stay in sores or you know, avoid certain types of weather, certain types of uh, environments, which is great. And now is that something that insurance would cover? Yeah, this is available. Um, yeah, it's, it's a medical device, so uh, the cost is determined by your insurance, and you get it uh, through your doctor. So it, it's a, the whole inhaler or just the top of the inhaler? It's just the top something? part here. So it goes so. With, works with your regular inhaler? Mm -hmm. and yeah, it just, just slips it right top. on the top of regular kind of tube inhaler. That's great. Yep. Awesome. What else do we have? And the last uh, device I wanted to show you, this is called the Circuit Core Ember. This is a device that was just announced this year at CES. And um, it looks like something you might see at a hospital called a pulse oximeter. But this is actually a fitness device that measures hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the protein in your blood that carries oxygen. So it essentially will help you determine how much oxygen your body can carry. And um, fitness users would use this uh, when training for endurance events, running or cycling. Um, typically what they'll do is they'll go up to high elevations, say Colorado, uh, put this on and train and see their hemoglobin content go up. And they can kind of use their measurements to determine when is the best time to actually do that endurance events. So you can literally, you know, see your hemoglobin change as you change elevations. Cool. And it's just a quick uh, one minute measurement. So can we test mine sure, now? Sure, absolutely. Which finger? Uh, either finger. Okay. And I'll put that in there. Let's Ooh. turn on the app. Do I have to stay still? <laughs> <laughs> no, no need to, thankfully. How much is this? So this right. is going to go for four ninety nine, and um, right now uh, it's available for pre-order, and it's going to be shipping um, very, very soon, sometime in the summer. So for serious athletes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So what's it telling me? So it's telling me, me that you have right now 13.6, 13.7 grams per deciliter of hemoglobin, and also your pulse rate is 67. Oh. So. So if I were a professional athlete, I probably would know what that meant or exactly. yeah. <laughs> whether I could go run 20 miles or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, if it goes up or down uh, with your training regimen. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, so how often do you post on MedGadget? Um, I try to post once every week. Uh, MedGadget has content every day. We post two, three times a day. Um, but yeah, I'll post every once in a while. 
And do these devices all have FDA approval before not, you? Not all of them. Um, this one specifically, the Circuit Core Ember, this is a fitness-related device, so it's not oh, going right. to go through that FDA process, at least not yet. Uh, the, uh, the, help, the propeller is FDA approved, and the Lumo isn't going to be an FDA approved thing. It's just a personal metric device. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for showing us this stuff, My and pleasure. hopefully you'll come back again with the next new medical ja gadgets that come out. Absolutely. I'd be glad to. <laughs> All right. Take care. Scott Jung from medgadget.com, right? Uh, yes. And yes. a lot of people in the chat room were asking for the names again. That was the Lumo Lift was the... Lumo Lift. The propeller posture. inhaler sen sensor. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that Lumo Lift was the posture, posture. device. The, and and the that inhaler. was buzzing. Some people were also saying, it sounds like there's a buzzing because it was right next to my microphone. I was telling you, sit up, sit yeah. up, sit up. <laughs> the propeller inhaler sensor was the thing that you'd use if you had asthma. And the Ember was the last one that finished. And that's E-M-B-E-R? E-M-B-E-R. You always have to ask because nowadays everything's spelled weird. Right.